So you're telling me that I can boost my confidence by facing and dealing with anxiety? Are, are you are you okay? Hey humans, Coach Nate here with another mindful focus to share with you. I want to talk today about boosting your confidence in dealing with anxiety, that the anxiety monster. Anxiety for for the most part is a concern about a future event. That future event may be, you know, moments, minutes away or way into the future, but we're focused on if we're concerned about, worried about something in the future that hasn't happened yet or may happen. In in I, I coin that is where we're trying to pre live the future. We exist right here in this moment, as Eckhart Tolle put in his book, The Power of Now, all we ever have is now, right now, this moment. The future, when it happens, occurs in the present, in the present moment. Um, the, the, uh, the other saying is, you know, yesterday ended last night. And Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett, with their combined wealth, cannot buy five seconds of yesterday. When we find ourselves in a low mood and depressed state, we're reliving the past. So we get into trouble when we try to live outside of this very moment. Now, here, now, be here now. Having concern about the future is very different than worrying in anxiety, right? If we are giving thoughtful reflection and planning in preparation for the future, trying to create a, a path with a good outcome, that's different than obsessing over worrying about, obsessing literally having a physical response, emotional response, which is the key, stressing out over what may or may not happen in the future. Know that stress over worry it robs, of, robs us of important energy, energy that we need to, to navigate through. That, that disrupts our nervous system that is cr- able to, uh, built, created to be able to withstand and go through, but not a persistent uh, challenges, but not a persistent steady state. Not constant and and certainly not depleted with worry. the The calming helps us when we are when we're able to invoke calm, have peace. That helps us with our problem solving skills and abilities. It helps us to 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 navigate through it. Worrying reduces our capacity. On the other hand and ability to endure and withstand the challenges that we're facing. So calm is a fuel. It is a resource to help where anxiety, while it may feel like it, okay, I'm doing something, I'm worrying about this, actually is burning fuel. It is is using up valuable resources that you need to help you manage through what this, whatever it is, this thing that you're, 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 you're worried about. It's, it's like marching towards that challenge and you're taking off your armor. And, and now when you get there, blam, and, you're, and if, if, it, if it's real, if it's real. Basically, all roads of that obsessive worrying, is, is it, it leads to a massive erosion of our self-confidence. It, 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 it just depletes our belief that we can, the belief in ourself that we can, that we can accomplish this, that we're able to. It can even uh, erase our belief that it's possible, creating a, oh, the sky is falling. I used to love that, one of my favorite sing, sing, song, scenes in the movie Chicken Run. We mustn't panic, we mustn't panic, and boom. That, that's that's anxiety. All right. So, in terms of the, how do we let go, live now, and win? Know that anxiety, stress, worry, 
That's a feeling. And it is best to separate that feeling from fact. Feeling, fact. How do you do that? Well, you may ask yourself, how is this affecting me right now? How is me worrying about how I'm going to pay rent X number of days from now, pay the mortgage, pay, okay, those are bills, feed, buy groceries, a lot of it, okay, financial, pass a test, where is this relationship going to be a month from now? What happens if my presentation at work doesn't go well? Fill in the blank. Whatever it is that, how is this affecting you right now in this present moment? Chances are it's not. Right now in this moment, it's not. That's where you can help separate, I have this feeling of anxiety versus it being real. If the day and the moment, the time is right here and right now, that's different. And now we're not worrying about the future. We're dealing with that in the, in the present moment. Even still, how is this affecting me right now? And even if in the instance where, okay, maybe it doesn't turn out as we had hoped, it helps us to, when we're here present in the moment to focus on finding a way through it, even if that means picking up the pieces and putting them back together and moving forward. It helps then when we're obsessed with worry and anxiety to lean into it. Understand, ask yourself, what is the who, what, when, uh, where, and why? Not the how. How is the, how is the one causing it? Right? That's often where we get in trouble. How, how will I? How can I? To the side. But the who, what, when, and where of it. And then know that... Studies will have reported that 93% of what we worry about never comes to pass, never happens. We have these minds, phenomenal, and these, these, on, these, these on our shoulders that are capable of creating horror scenarios, the likes of which Stephen King would be envious of, but they're just that. They're creations in our minds that we've come up with, that we're tormenting ourselves. Why on earth, if I don't like spiders, would I dangle a spider in front of me? Why on earth, if I don't like carrots, would I eat carrots? (laughs) So, when we understand that your thoughts, when you understand your thoughts are not you, they are emotions, but they are not who you are. They are feelings, but they are not who you are. And then we can separate those two and we can name them what this is and we can tie it to person, place, or behavior, something. Then we can begin to peel the onion back, cliche. Then we can begin to lean in and deal with and address and we understand the foe that we're facing and dealing with and find a creative solution or a way to cope and manage through it versus having it torment you. So when, when I remember when I, I talked about that 93% of what we are in fear over, worry about, never comes to pass. Remind yourself, does, see if that applies to you. Remind yourself of those things that you feared in the past that never happened. You thought, oh, there's no way. This is it. It, It's just not going to, oh, ah. How many times have you felt that way? You've created this tsunami in your head, and it never happened. And the result of that is you just lost some time. It is good to know and remind yourself, and here's where the confidence boosting, that regardless of all of that, you're still here. You didn't think you were going to survive it, and you did. You didn't see or feel like, believe you were going to make it through, and yet you did. And you will again. So that, that's what boosters the, 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 the confidence. Another way to booster 
bolster, sorry, con another way to bolster confidence is to remind yourself of those challenges that did actually occur and you overcame them. How do I know? Because you're hearing this. You're still here. Those, those ones where you thought you weren't going to make it through, that everything was going to, it's over. It's, it wasn't. Yes, a relationship may have ended, but you're still here. Yes, a career may have ended. Yes, you're still You may have gone bankrupt, lost everything, but now you are in the rebuilding process. You didn't cease to exist. That's the point. Was it hard? Yes. Painful? Yes. It may still be. There may be scars and remnants from it, but you are still here. And you, as long as you have breath in your body, you can begin to rebuild. You can begin to heal internally first. That's the most important relationship. And then you can begin to develop and grow and foster a new relationship, a new career, a new place to live, a new vehicle to drive. Whatever the case may be, you were there on the other side of it. You went through it and, and now you were here and still being here is something that you've accomplished and achieved confidence, which should give you and empower you to feel, I can. if I can make it through that, I can make it through anything. I'm not going to let worry, this is what you're telling yourself, take me out of contention. I'm going to do what I need to do. And you can, the whole what if monster, you need to go away. I'm kind of tired of hearing you. We're going to figure this out. And then remind yourself, above all, that regardless of what happens, you are enough. You will figure it out, whatever is next, and you will be okay. Just sharing some insights with you. Feel free to try them or toss them. Both of those can be correct answers but which one is something only you can determine for yourself. If you like this content, please feel free to give a like, follow, subscribe, hit the motive, uh, notification bell so you know when I post additional content like this and are made aware of it. And then share this with somebody who you feel will benefit or could benefit from it. And above all, remember to let go, live now.